Holy Virus, the Blind Warrior Gamer, and I'm coming to you today with a discussion on the Torchlight 2 Q&A uh, that I've listened to that is up on torchlight2game.com. Uh, the discussion was between five players who tested the game and some of the staff of Runic Games. Um, this is just going to go over some of the topics. I'm not going to go over everything because I actually haven't finished listening to the whole podcast, but this will give you a taste of some of the things that were talked about. Um, one of the things that was discussed was why would you want to play Torchlight 2 over Diablo 3? Runic Games has stated that, you know what, Diablo 3 is a great game. They have been playing the beta and think that it's it's fantastic. The reasons why you would want to play Torchlight 2 over Diablo 3 are, are the following list that they had provided. One, the game has no online requirement, which means you can play the game offline single player. Two, you don't have to compete with other players who may be purchasing their equipment with cash. Three, the game has lower system requirements, which means it can run on older machines where Diablo 3, if you don't have a high-powered system that's capable of playing StarCraft 2 or even World of Warcraft Cataclysm, uh, you're probably not going to be able to play the game real well, if at all. Um, four, Torchlight 2 is one-third the cost. It is considerably cheaper, um, starting at $20, where uh, Diablo 3 is going to start at 60 and if you want the Collector's Edition, it will start at $100. The next on the agenda that they had discussed was the number of monsters. Torchlight 1 had 60 unique uh, model types for monsters, and then they rehashed some of them and, and kind of did the blow-up, rinse, repeat thing. Um, throughout this, they had decided to, you know, vastly improve upon that, especially now that they had a little bit more of a budget, and you can now see three times that number approximately. Now, they didn't provide an exact number because they weren't 100% sure on the total number of unique models, but it's about three times that of Torchlight 1. To go along with that, the types of monsters that you will see, as well as the items that you will see, will scale to your level and the items will have more unique looks and items that are unique will be unique. Uh, you'll also have items that will have specific attributes depending on the piece of item that it is so that you don't end up having a, a hodgepodge of random things all over the place. Another thing that was discussed was the pets. In the game you will now have six pets to choose from right off the beginning the old cat and the dog from Torchlight 1 are still in the game, uh, but you have to acquire them through fish. Feeding your fish will give your pets different looks and different attributes um, that you would not normally have, and the, uh, the pets will change based on the type of fish that they've eaten. Uh, one of the questions that was posed was, will there be a way to, even though you have the new stats from the fish, obtain the old pet model? Currently, that is not available, and it looks like they are considering adding it, but they don't know because it may screw with some of the animations, so that's just a discussion that they're going to have, and, and we'll see what happens moving forward. Another issue was minions. Summoned minions in Torchlight 1 from your alchemist, uh, or even from scrolls that you've acquired, did not show their life or their numbers. Because of this, it was difficult to determine how many units you had, what their lives were, and do you need to recast. You kind of had to keep a visual record of what was out there, and it made things a little bit more difficult, especially in the fray. That is still the case in Torchlight 2. However, the game is still in development. The beta test is not out yet. They're still, you know, in internal uh, alpha testing. Um, so that may change now that it has been brought up. As, as it was stated, it is now on the board. Uh, this is just a few of the things that were discussed. There was a lot more discussed uh, uh, on this topic. If you'd like to see more, or hear more, or even listen to the full podcast, I encourage you to go into my description 
and click on the link that will be posted there, it will take you directly to the Torchlight 2 Q&A podcast uh, that Renica Games has posted as of 9 o'clock this morning, November 18th, 2011. This is Holy Virus the Blind Warrior Gaming. I encourage you to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. And as always, keep rocking and peace out.